Log in on the iPad. Open the app, then enter your email address and password. Then press Log in. Begin each market day with entering a transaction of $0. This ensures that FM Tracks records all market data for that day. To enter a customer transaction, navigate to the Transactions log for your market on a PC or log into your market on the app, which will take you directly to Transactions. In order to record a $0 transaction, select any payment method and enter $0.00. If on the website, check the Anonymous box under Customer ID, then click Submit Transaction. If on the iPad, scroll down and tap Complete Transaction. Once the transaction has been submitted, it will appear at the bottom of the screen on the website or on the left-hand side of your screen if using the app. You can see if you are connected to Wi-Fi in the app. If this icon is green, you are connected, and if red, you are not. If your market is connected to Wi-Fi, you should connect to the network upon logging in to your FM Tracks account. If you cannot connect to Wi-Fi, you can still enter transactions. New market data for that day won't be uploaded to the FM Tracks website until you're connected to Wi-Fi. To enter a customer's transaction, enter the payment method and purchase amount under the Payment Method fields. If your customer is using more than one form of payment, you can add the other type or types by selecting Add Payment Method. If the transaction is eligible for an incentive, your market's incentive options will appear on the right-hand side of the screen. You can also select the incentive type if you are distributing one for this customer transaction. If you have set up an incentive in your profile, FM Tracks will automatically calculate the correct dollar amount or discount for each eligible transaction. To ensure this happens, please make sure to select the Auto Calculate button. The total amount of the transaction will calculate on the bottom right hand side. If your market does not have eligible incentives, no incentive options will appear. Enter the Customer ID in the Customer ID field. The Customer ID must consist of two letters and four numbers. In order to have consistency and the ability to easily keep track of repeat customers, we recommend using the first and last initials of the customer's name followed by the last four digits on the customer's main form of payment, such as a SNAP card, to create a customer's ID. If your market does not collect customer IDs, or if the customer prefers to be anonymous, select Anonymous in the Customer ID field. FM Tracks has the option to enter the customer's zip code for transactions. This is optional, but it allows a market to track their geographic reach. The Customer Zip Code field is located just below Customer ID. Enter the five-digit zip code of the customer or select Anonymous if the customer does not wish to provide this information. If your market tracks additional information such as point-of-sale IDs to link transactions to point-of-sale reports or research IDs to link transactions to grant reports, you can add these IDs to the additional tracking fields on the right side column of the screen. If this transaction marks the first time a customer has provided a customer ID, FM Tracks will ask new customer questions. These are the questions that appear in the Questions field at the bottom half of the screen. If FM Tracks recognizes the customer ID, repeat customer questions will appear. If the customer chooses not to answer survey questions, this section does not need to be filled out. How you decide to operate the questions portion of the transaction is up to you and your market's preferences. Some managers verbally ask customers these survey questions, while other managers allow customers to enter their own answers. 
Make sure all questions have been answered correctly before submitting. To edit a transaction, you must access your account from the FM Tracks website portal. It is best practice to review and correct all sales information in real time with the customer present before submitting it in the app. Instructions on how to edit transactions from the web portal is provided in the FM Tracks tutorial video entitled Editing Transaction Logs. After reviewing the transaction information, click the green Complete Transaction button at the bottom of the screen. The transaction will appear at the bottom of the screen once submitted, or on the left-hand side of the screen if using the iPad app. If your market does not have Wi-Fi, your data will automatically sync once reconnected to Wi-Fi. You should connect to a network both before and after your market day. This will allow you to work offline with the most up-to-date information. In addition, it will ensure that you do not lose any of the data you have entered during your market day. To upload or sync market data to your FM Tracks account, connect your iPad to a secure Wi-Fi network, allowing the app to sync for at least an hour. Once syncing is complete, you will be able to edit or alter any transaction in the website portal. If your app is having difficulty with syncing, or if you are unable to see new transactions on the website, watch the FM Tracks tutorial video titled Troubleshooting. Thank you.